Hey everybody. So today I am here with my first official full room transformation video for this new house. And I'm so excited because this is for the office. Obviously you guys can see that from the title of this video. But y'all, you don't understand. I had big plans for the office. Like I had this vision in my mind and I am ecstatic because I feel like I have executed that vision and I'm so happy with the office. And what makes it even more special is the fact that this is my first official home office. I had like an office space in my other house. I transformed a big closet into an office space and it's just not the same. <laughs> So I'm so happy and so grateful that in this house we have an actual dedicated office and I can't wait to show you the finished result. But let's not skip ahead. Hold on one second. Let me start at the beginning, show you guys what this office <laughs> started out as. The cool thing about our new office is that I saw it through from the very beginning stages, like before it even had walls. And I was able to completely customize it and make sure that it was everything that I absolutely wanted. So the way the office is set up, when you're looking straight in to the left side on that wall there are two pretty large windows and with those windows I knew I wanted them to have a certain look I wanted them to have the dark trim I wanted that contrast I wanted that stylized look that was extremely important I was not budging on that the windows were a non-negotiable had to have the dark trimmed windows and I also wanted windows with a little bit of flair like I wanted them to look minimal but I still wanted them to be impactful at the same time I didn't want them to look super basic and cookie cutter and the windows that we got for this office they are like straight up and down but then at the top they have a curve I just really love the shape of the windows so the windows <laughs> may not seem like a big thing to some people but for me the windows were very very important and then once the actual office was built the walls were put in the flooring was put down from the very beginning I had my heart set on real wood white oak floors and I found the perfect floors that have these beautiful knots that give a, such an understated character to them. Every time I look at them, every time I walk on them, they just bring me so much joy. Pick the paint colors for the wall, everything like that. And I really did love the open airy feel of the office when I didn't have anything in it. <laughs> and so at first I kind of was on the fence about if I wanted to stick with my original plan because my original plan was to have a moody, dark office, right? But I was just absolutely in love with all this light and brightness and I felt like it would be good for productivity. But then I was like, you know what? I really have my heart set on a deep, moody built-in. So I knew I wanted a built-in bookshelf, bookcase, cabinet situation in the office. We actually found a contractor from the guy that sold us the house. After we closed and everything, he was like, if you need anyone, if you need any contractors for anything, let me know because I have a lot of contacts. And I was like, well, actually I do want built-in shelving bookcase unit. And he was like, oh, I know a guy. He would be perfect. He started showing me pictures in his phone and he was just going through all the pictures, showing me everything. Thing. He was like, yeah, he did this, he did this. And then he told me the price that he was charging these people. And I was like, you are joking, right? You are absolutely joking because the prices were, I could have never imagined they would be that good. Cause when I was first looking at getting built-ins, the prices were pretty much double or triple the carpenter was charging. And so I was like, oh my goodness, that is an awesome price. And I was looking through the pictures and the work looked so freaking good, right? And I was like, hallelujah, lucked up, this seems like the guy for me he already works in this area he has done great work I have someone vouching for him in person so the guy that sold us the house sent us his contact info but then he was like oh, it's only one problem this guy does not speak any English like at all not a word of English and I was just like oh, that shouldn't be a problem I have Google Translate on my phone I think I'll be all right I think we'll be good so I reached out to the guy in Spanish right I just typed in to Google Translate reached out to him told him what we were looking for he came a couple days later to look at the space and get measurements and everything like that but he came with a lady who did speak English so she was like our liaison but he came over did measurements we told them <laughs> what we all wanted because actually aside from the built-ins there were a couple other things that I wanted done like I wanted paneling shiplap put in in my son's room I wanted some paneling put up in the dining room which I showed you guys they completed that as well and I also wanted him to do my Ikea closet system to add some trim to it make it look built in so there were a couple other things smaller jobs but other things nonetheless and with all the stuff that we were asking him to do the total was like unheard of for the work that we were 
were requesting. I could not have found that price anywhere. And I was like, absolutely, this is perfect. We're going with you. When can you start work? Oh, I can actually start on Monday, like as soon as possible. I'm gonna need half the money up front so I can get all the materials and everything like that. And then you'll pay the balance once everything's done. So we met up with this guy at Walmart, okay? <laughs> at Walmart gave him cash. After we paid him the deposit, I'm like, I hope this guy shows up. I hope he doesn't run off with our money. Like I was just putting a lot of faith into this, but we could have really got screwed. I'm just saying. This carpenter, I'm pretty sure that he's not searchable online. He may not even have an actual company. <laughs> I was just going off of the word of the man that sold us the house. So the day arrives where he's supposed to start work, y'all. Let me tell you, I was stressed, okay? I was stressed. He was like, yeah, I'll be there early in the morning. Nine o'clock rolls around, 10 o'clock rolls around. We're like, um, where's this guy at? We reached out to him. He's like, yeah, I just got caught up on another job. I'm heading that way now. Had to pick up the material, running a little late. I should be there in about an hour. We're like, okay. <sighs> an hour passes, an hour and a half passes. At this point, I'm like, oh, we didn't got God, man. Like, this is terrible. I'm over here cursing out the guy in my mind <laughs> that sold us this house that gave us the carpenter's number. Cause I'm like, hold up, you vouched for this guy and he didn't rain off with all money. Literally five minutes later, the doorbell rang and it was the guy, he had his helper with him. He had another guy with him and the lady translator. And they came in, y'all, they did not play games. They meant business, they just, Boom, he was ready to go, ready to work. So the first thing that he did was he took off the baseboards around the back, cause that's where I wanted the built-ins put, right there. Once you look in that whole back wall, I wanted it to be all shelving. And he had me come in and show him how high I wanted the cabinetry. With this built-in, I wanted a row of cabinets and then I wanted bookshelves on top. And for cabinetry, there's generally a typical height for cabinets. And I knew for my cabinets, I wanted them to be super, super super tall and the carpenter was like ma'am are you sure well he said this <laughs> and then the translator told us but he was like are you sure that this is what you want because you're not going to be able to use it as a desk or as like a platform to put stuff when you're maybe turning around from the desk and you might want to lay stuff on top of the countertop i was like trust me okay just make it to this height i chose a height of 46 inches as opposed to i believe the standard is 32 so it's over a foot higher and i wanted it to be higher because i I wanted the tops of the cabinets to be higher than the desk chair. So the whole built-in would just look more grand, larger, and I feel like when things are bigger, sometimes, especially with furniture, it just looks more expensive, more high quality, and I wanted that regal feeling when you walked into this office. But he kept coming back. I don't think he's ever <laughs> had someone ask to have their cabinets that high, because he was like, uh, are you really sure? Almost made me second guess myself but no I was like I'm sticking to it I know what I want please make it this height so he got to it he marked off what I asked for we went over how many cabinets I wanted how many shelves I wanted like the whole configuration we went over that he got to work and when I tell you this man and his partner worked so fast I was awestruck I believe it took like two days to install the cabinetry and he cut every single piece by hand like they had all of the equipment the drills everything like that <laughs> set up on my front lawn. They were in and out, in and out, cutting stuff, putting it up, cutting stuff. It was crazy. I was so impressed with the workmanship and just with how efficient they were. And when the built-ins were done, I was in awe. It was everything I wanted. I was so happy with it. And I was so glad that everything worked out. The quality of this built-in is chef's kiss. It's so, so good. Every detail, he did not skimp on anything. All the detailing, the measurements, the, the doors, the shelves, everything is so, so good. And when the whole unit was done and we all came and looked at it, the carpenter was like, okay, I understand now. You were onto something because this was the perfect call, especially for the space. So the unit was just raw wood in its natural state. So of course, like I said, I wanted to go with a dark moody color for the built-ins. And I went and picked so many paint samples. I was going back and forth on which ones I should go with. It was a hard 
decision to make, but I finally decided on a color called Iron Ore by Sherwin-Williams. This color is generally classified as like a dark charcoal gray, but to me, depending on lighting, this color can actually read navy blue, like a really deep navy, or sometimes it looks a little warmer. But yeah, we went with Iron Ore. I hired a paint company to come out and paint the cabinets. They did spray them with the sprayer, and I was really happy with the paint company. Really impressed with how thorough they were with making sure that everything was protected, like the walls, the flooring, all the baseboards, the ceiling, everything like that. So they painted the cabinetry and all of the shelves and once that was done I was so ecstatic I was very very happy and pleased with the outcome of the painting of the built-ins the built-ins to me were the star of the show the focal point of the room but I also knew that I wanted a standout piece for the desk because when you think of an office you think of an office desk right and I wanted the desk to be kind of like a conversation piece I wanted it to contrast with the built-ins so I wanted it to be a lighter color and I wanted it to have an interesting design element to it and y'all I searched high and low for desks I don't know it wasn't easy to find a desk that I wanted I wanted a certain desk I didn't know exactly what I wanted it to look like but I knew what I wanted to feel like when I saw it <laughs> if that makes sense but yeah, I was on the hunt for a desk for so long it seems. But I finally came across this desk on the Crate and Barrel website. I was loving, loving, loving the way it looked online. And I knew, like I was telling you guys before, I wanted a coastal vibe in this office some way, somehow. I wanted to infuse a coastal vibe. And with this grass cloth material, I felt like that was coastal to a T. I love the texture of it, just bringing in those natural elements. But I took a really big chance buying this desk because it had terrible, <laughs> terrible reviews like the reviews were so bad and some buyers had said the material starts to come off it's starting to rip at the seams the door on the desk doesn't stay closed it breaks the color is different in person than it is online it's very yellow in person i was very nervous because this desk comes in several different colors and materials specific one i chose it was on clearance and i could not return it so i was like okay this desk is half the price that it normally is so if it turns out good I'm lucking up big time but if it turns out bad I'm stuck with a desk that I don't like <sighs> I took a chance anyway because this was the only desk that I could find that even remotely interested me. And I don't know, I'm not invalidating anyone else's experiences, but y'all, this is the perfect desk and we've had it for months now and we don't have any complaints. And by the way, this desk is very heavy too. It is very heavy, very substantial, and it is not like a flimsy piece of furniture at all. But yeah, once I had the desk, I knew I needed a chair. And I wanted to find a chair that was sleek. I didn't want it to take away from the built-in or the desk. I kind of wanted it to blend in with the built-in, so I knew I wanted a dark color chair. Again, it's not easy to find <laughs> nice desk chairs or the kind of desk chairs that I had in my mind. But I came across this site that I'd never heard of before. It's called Homery. And again, I took a chance because I found a chair on there that I was like, ooh, I feel like this would be perfect. But this site <laughs> kind of looks scammy. Me? This is the only chair I could find that even remotely looks like something that I would want. I did a little Google search, make sure that the site was legit. I initially wanted a chair with arms because I thought that that would be most comfortable. This chair does not have arms, but it's still extremely, extremely comfortable, which is one thing that I love about it. Not only is it attractive and nice looking, and it goes perfectly with the office, but it's very comfortable to sit in. It's a swivel chair, so you can turn around and move all around in it. It has a lever at the bottom, so you can adjust it up and down, get the height how you want it. So the chair, I have to rave about because the quality and the look of it, it looks so nice and sophisticated. The stitching on it, the details like this walnut wood grain back, it's such an unexpected treat, I feel, when you just turn back and you see that walnut wood look on the back. I really like that and kind of how it peekaboos on the side. You see that little sliver of wood on the side. I just love this chair so much, y'all. So yeah, after that, I was like, I really 
feel like this space needs a rug, an area rug to ground it and just kind of make the space feel a little more homey and inviting because it started to me to feel a little sterile and a little too formal. So I found this rug on Wayfair, which is great because it ties in the colors from the flooring, like this light tan color, but also pulls in the gray from the built-in and it has a subtle stripe print to it. So it really just infuses another element of design. So everything is not super flat. Also changed out the curtains because as you guys saw in previous videos, I had these temporary curtains up, which I actually got from Target, but I wasn't too thrilled with the feel of them. I felt like they were a little too casual feeling and also they were too short. So if I wanted to keep them, I would have to buy them again in a longer length. Anyway, I decided to go in a different direction, especially once I got the rug because they just clashed. The curtains and the rug clashed. Print on print, no way. So I went with these Wayfair faux linen curtains and I like them because they have this denim kind of look and they have very subtle gradient effect in it so like it's dark gray light gray mixed in but it's only when you look at them up close do you see the variation in the colors and the stitching so then once all the main pieces were in all i had to do basically was to get some other decor pieces make the room look cohesive so i knew i wanted to bring in an art piece and i couldn't figure it out and then one day on one of my videos i was actually showing a piece that i had bought from home goods and i bought this piece to go in the game room initially but someone had commented on my video video and they were like have you ever thought of just taking this piece and putting it in the office I think it would work really nicely and I had never even considered that so I decided to move that piece from the game room to the office and I usually hang all my artwork up with these claw drywall picture hangers they just work so well for me everything hangs perfectly with these vertically the picture looks like a lady sitting in a chair and I was telling you guys that I wanted to hang it horizontally because it just fits the wall space better and so I hung it <laughs> <laughs> that way but to me I could still see the lady sitting down I could still see the abstract of the lady and I knew I couldn't live with that because it would just bother me I would just see a lady turn sideways so what I did to tweak it a little bit is I took some white and black acrylic paint and I just started adding paint to this art piece and this I recommend anyone to do especially if you're looking for big pieces of art like you know sizable pieces if you go to places like home goods or or if you even find things at thrift stores, art pieces at thrift stores, you can find a nice large print on a canvas. They have great prints that are framed and you can just go over them, paint your own thing if you want, or you can just tweak what is already there and turn it into something that works for your space. I also added some picture lights because I really think that picture lights make a space look just so sophisticated and so nice looking. They're a great, great accent to use. I love when I see picture lights. It also comes with a remote so you can remotely turn it on and off and these are actually battery operated. They're rechargeable so you don't have to hardwire it which is perfect if you want to add accent lighting but you don't want to go through the hassle of calling an electrician. It also has a mounting plate so you can screw it in and mount it you know hard to the wall but I didn't want to do that and I didn't want to drill into my built-in and run the risk of messing it up. So what I did is I just took some command strips and I I stuck it up to my built-in. So this is a great idea and a great tip and you don't want to drill holes into your walls or if you're in somewhere like an apartment where you're renting and you can't put holes in walls and you can't do stuff like that. This is a great option. So easy, so quick and no one will ever know that you just stuck it up with command strips. So yeah after that I just went ahead and brought in my books and put them all on the shelf. I added a few little tchotchkes. Most of these pieces I got from Home Goods. Target, Crate and Barrel, places like that. And I found a home for my wooden piece that I was struggling <laughs> to figure out what to do with. I think it goes really well on the bookshelf. I really like it there. And then things still felt a little bit incomplete. That is until I got this 40 volume encyclopedia set that I actually found at Half Price Books. Add some greenery in there just to add some plant and life. And this is how the office turned out. One thing about the desk that I didn't mention is that it's really awesome because the top part of it swivels. So it can turn from just a 
regular desk into an L-shaped desk and you can get twice the amount of working space if you just pivot that top piece over. So I really like the convertible aspect of the desk as well. And it just makes it even cooler. I mean, the asymmetrical look of it with the big leg and then the smaller side, it's just so unique and different. It's a real showpiece. And I'm super into the contrasting materials because it features a hard top surface against the woven grass cloth body. The sleek chair against the really substantial tall bookcase. The encyclopedia set, which I think makes the office feel so distinguished, so sophisticated and smart. Just adding those elevated the entire office so much, I feel. The rug for a more cozy feeling and some abstract artwork for a little pizzazz. The picture lights add such a nice ambiance. Everything I feel just works together really well. I like decorating just in general, but this office has been so, so much fun decorating. I never even thought that an office, you usually think of offices as boring and you know, blah, but yo, I had so much fun decorating this office. Really love the look of it. I love the built-ins, the way the colors play off of each each other everything about it I am so so happy with but yeah this is my office reveal I hope you liked it as much as I do I will have the links to everything that is linkable <laughs> that was bought for this office down below in the description box thanks you guys for watching and I will catch you on my next video bye